Well, uh, my brother and I actually pooled our birthday money uh, to get a drum kit when I was a little kid, I was like, you know, 13 or 14 or something. And I was like obsessed with Nirvana at the time. Dave Grohl was, you know, like my god. So I would just, you know, plug in and, and listen and I'd come home from school and like that's kind of how I got some of my, my aggression out. And unfortunately uh, my parents were accommodating and, and they let me play. And I think what was so great about it is I'd taken lessons for like piano and, and like guitar and stuff. and. It, it kind of killed it for me having to, to like be so regimented and what I loved about drums is that like you can have no idea what you're doing and you go up there and like as soon as you just like start to hit it and just like feel the music like it's it's great and there's this like that pushes you to want to get better so I actually joined Young the Giant, uh, when we used to be called the Jakes, and I was initially the bassist. And uh, I, there were a couple lineup changes, and our, uh, our drummer at the time ended up studying jazz performance drums at Manhattan School of Music. So because I played drums, I sort of temporarily stepped in as the drummer, and that was like five years ago, so I guess I, I got the gig. At that point, it really pushed me to start to take things more seriously and try to learn more about technique and about style and, and, and groove and feel and all that stuff and uh, it was shortly after that that I, I got in, in touch with uh, Zildjian who was my, that was like the, you know, the holy grail for me for cymbals. I, I started playing on ZBTs, my, my parents got me this like starter kit ZBT pack and like I just remember because when I bought the kit there was one no name symbol and it was like cracked and it sounded like a garbage can and finally I got like the, the symbols. I didn't even have enough stands, you know, because it also came with like the extra china if you bought it at that time. So I, I had to like switch them out depending on what I wanted to play. And when I first reached out to Zildjian, when, you know, I think we had just played the VMAs and I, I was just curious as to whether or not, you know, to be interested in working together. And uh, I, I reached out to Kirsten Matt in the LA office and she was like, yeah, you know, we can get you the artist deal and like you should come in. And then I was just like completely floored that, you know, it had come to this point from playing in my parents' garage and having no idea what I was doing to, to having the opportunity to, to represent and to play with Zildjian. It was like seriously, a dream. I know it sounds super cliche, but it was like a dream come true. So. I actually love uh, mixing and matching the A's and the K's. They offer such interesting and different sounds, even within like that particular model, you know, there's so many different things you can achieve. And with the sound that we get on stages, there's two guitars always blaring with all sorts of effects and, and reverb and stuff. So what I love about the A's is that they allow me to kind of cut through that stuff and I get great definition. I think live, one of the, the things that we try to keep in mind is like there's such beauty and like aggression if it's if it's harnessed correctly and I think that's what the K's offer you with that dark just like really guttural kind of sound so I like to mix and match um, right now I have the uh, bounce ride Constantinople uh, 20 inch that I'm playing as a crash slash crash ride I have the ping 20 inch I have a session crash 18 inch and I'm playing the 14 inch new beats so kind of all over the map but it works for me. Mm -hmm. 